What's good, y'all? This is Sacred Reunions, aka Grateful Drake, back at you for another vlog. Okay, so why did I freeze this frame? Well, let me tell you. Uh, if you don't like falls, skip ahead to about 48 seconds. If you like falling, you like seeing grown-ups fall, then go ahead and watch because it's about to be play out for you right in front of your eyes. You know, falling is like one of those things. It's like um, you like always anticipate and worry about it. But when you finally do fall, it's kind of like, well, I got my fault out of the way for the year or for the next couple of years. So it's kind of like a relief. So that's how it was for me. All right, party people. Go ahead. Brace yourselves. Uh, uh, oh, did y'all see my foot go in a whole different direction? I couldn't resist being out here in this incredibleness that I have in my backyard. I had to step out before this workout. I made myself some tea. I had some coffee a little earlier, so I'm ready to go. I'm about to do a workout. It's a booty blasting workout. I'm gonna try and switch it up a little bit from the last one you guys saw. We'll do some core and I might do a little upper body, although my shoulder has been hurting from all the building and moving that I was doing in the garage um, in the previous vlog. <clears throat> so I gotta be treat her well. I just think it's funny. I made this tea and I don't know if y'all know what brand is this yogi tea on the back side of these teas there's always a little phrase or saying and I love picking one out and like seeing what I'm gonna get and this is what I got let things come to you like you don't have to force life you ain't got to be rushing you ain't got to be all stressed out and anxiety stricken about things just sit back and relax not relax I mean you got to get things done but don't stress over the little things because everything will happen in due time. So one thing I do want to say is um, ever since I came out with the, uh, the divorce vlog, I do appreciate all the kind words and everything. But what I had feared would happen is kind of happening. And it's nobody's fault. It's just human nature and um, I appreciate the love. But it's made me have to like... Not have to, but people want to know why. People have questions. People want to. People have want their answers. They want to know how did that happen. And, you know, I get it. So it's just a fine line for me and learning how to like my boundaries and how much do I want to answer and to whom and what's 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 appropriate and what's okay for me and what's not. Um, it's it's nobody's fault. It's human nature. You know, people got. You know, people want to know, especially people that, that care about me. So I like to be able to try, I'm trying to balance answering those questions with um, honor for me and for my process, but still for the love of those people. But it is draining. It's draining. So that's why I have to be careful. Hummingbird. Oh. It's a baby one too. He's really small. Let's see if I can get him. All right, y'all. So I'm reading from the Animal Spirit Guides book. The author is Stephen D. Farmer, PhD. And this is what he has to say about hummingbird. If a hummingbird shows up, it means you need to be very flexible with the twists and turns your life will take in the next days. Put more emotional sweetness in your life. You need it. You're going through some very heart-opening kinds of experiences, and you'll quite naturally draw more and more love into your life. Openly express the love you have and feel for those important people in your life. Give yourself the gift of as many flowers as you can. Spread them around your home and enjoy their sight and fragrance throughout the days to come. And then it says, if hummingbird is your power animal... You're fiercely independent, and if anyone threatens that independence, you're prepared to take flight. True. <laughs> you're full of joy, generally. <laughs> Have a positive outlook and affect others in this way. It's crucial for your health and sanity to work, to find work that allows you to be outdoors as much as possible. You're extremely sensitive, drawn to those who are light and positive, while shying away from anyone with harsh or negative energies. True. <laughs> so true. You confound others with your ability to go from being pas from being passionate to cool or intimate to emotionally distant to emotionally distant in the blink of an eye. 
Okay, that's Hummingbird. But he really, he's like, oh, there he goes. So I started working out. And I realized it's time to go get the girls. Amira and Anaya, it's Friday. They're going to sleep over. So I got to go get them. So I'll count that little warm up as just like me going for a nice little walk with her. Me, a nice climb. So we'll come back and we'll do the workout later. So I'll try not to vlog and walk at the same time. Shit, that was fucking scary, y'all. That shit's fucked up. I can walk on it, so it's not broken, but there's something going on in there for sure. Gotta take care of myself today, though. That shit was no joke. I was scared. Y'all can laugh. Y'all can laugh. It's okay. It's always funny when adults fall. Shit. I call her Peanut. I normally lives to save lives. I usually rinse down the car. That's something I learned from Will. Um, out of all the mess and stuff, I have learned like some really good things from him. And one of those is, you know, taking you know taking good care of your car. I mean, it sounds obvious. But, you know, sometimes I'll be careless. And not just like, I mean, obviously, you want to take care of your oil changes and, you know, the internal engine and what's going on inside. That's, duh. But you also want to like, you know, you want it to look nice and, you know, to rep your car is kind of like a little bit of an extension of who you are. You know, we all look at each other's cars and, and we judge a little bit but beyond judging it's like um you know it's like a part of you in a way how you treat your body how you treat your car sorry and Mary's like what the heck I'm like yep yeah, sorry I fell I ate it I gotta clean these dude this is gonna drive me bonkers these glasses you guys if you're hella thirsty that's your body's way of letting you know that you're already, you're already dehydrated. So, drink before you get thirsty. I was fucking hella thirsty and I was like, wait, girl, you can't be doing that. I wonder if anybody saw me fall. I was like trying to get up hella fast because I was like, oh fuck, I don't want nobody to see me. Okay, that's a little better. Ooh, them glasses are shiny. Okay, let's get going. Cards purchased online. Did you know you can now check your gift card balance online? Simply visit www.toy. Your card has a balance of $44.57. To hear the balance of a- Now all these gift cards I fucking forgot about. It's amazing. I got Sephora. Well, that's fairly new. I got that for my birthday. Thanks, Liz. And Carmen. And fam. Macy's I need to use that too I think I heard they're going out of business too and I don't think I've touched this this might be like several hundred dollars now that I think about it Sally what do I have two? Oh yeah 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 Ooh, I forgot about the Macy's one let's check this out let's check this out let's see what I got alright the available balance on your gift card is two hundred dollars zero cents. Please note where purchases and returns yeah, may have been the past four days. Yeah. So let's do this, Brutus. Oh, right now? Yeah. Okay. So head of camera. Do you know you're on candy camera? Did yeah. you know? I show. Oh my god, I didn't show. It. Oh y'all, I ate it so bad. You'll see the footage. It's really bad. You're gonna laugh, you're gonna think it's funny, but I thought I broke my ankle. And nobody saw, I, like, I fell off the step at the porch, and I looked around hella fast, and I couldn't walk, and I was like hobbling around, I was like trying to hurry up before a car came. Okay. In the next clip, we'll see y'all. She's, she's, she's planning her birthday. Oh, I already got my birthday. I need to see myself, I'm really cute. You're in there. Okay, but um, basically the plan is, Yeah, 
guys, so now you guys all know what's happening. Taken. Yeah, it was. It was three things. No. And I'm not, that's the thing, that I'm not gonna get any presents or anything. That's my birthday presents. Excuse my nails, what? So update on my ankle, it actually feels not that bad. I thought it was gonna be like, I thought I broke it for a second. <laughs> like it was that bad. I, it'll probably hurt tomorrow more, but we will see. Hey cutie, look at that ducky quack quack. Is that duck? No, that's a blow fish. Yeah. You wanna show them your foam soap? My mommy got you. Woo. Wow. Fun. Okay, y'all. So, uh, I'm gonna just keep it 100 with y'all right now. I really don't feel good. Um, my body hurts and I've been having some weird, some weird, anyway, I don't feel good. So, um, and I had laid down in bed real quick and I was like, I started crying. And I was laying there and I was crying and I was like, let me get up. I don't know what made me get up, I get up, I got up. Oh, I remembered I had on these necklaces I had to take off. So that got me out of it. And then I decided, you know what? Cause I wasn't gonna do my workout because I got home. I was tired, we've been at the mall all day. I got dishes that are fucking piled up. Let me show you these dishes. Which is actually <laughs> not bad for us. Like sometimes it's worse. <laughs> So that's not that's not the hard part. So I can I can handle those dishes. But so I'm gonna do a workout. You know, the best thing you can do for yourself when you're emotionally low is to work out because your brain releases endorphins. I think that's the word. I'm gonna Google it before I before I um. And if that's the wrong word, it'll be down below. You'll see it right here. But your brain releases happy chemicals when you work out. So scientifically proven, it's a science, it's a fact. So I'm going to go work out and um, and I let myself cry. So don't get that twisted. Don't think that like, I don't feel good and then I just want to get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? I do want to get rid of it, but I also let myself, you know, purge it out like bleh spill it out you have to let the tears out did you know there was a research done on tears uh tears when you cry versus tears when you like yawn or whatever um and the tears the tears from when you cry actually have toxins in them and the tears from when you yawn are just I don't, i'm not i'm not sure but they, they're no toxins so that means when you cry, your your body is literally trying to get rid of something that doesn't belong. So <clears throat> it's easier said than done because you know society we're told don't cry, don't cry. What do we tell our kids? What do I tell my kids? I, I tell them don't cry, um, which I am trying to do better at. But um, I know for myself that um, as long as I'm in private, that it's okay to cry. I mean, let it out, girl. Let it, just just cry. Let it go. Um, so I was going to tackle these dishes, but I'm like, no, nah, I'll do it later. <laughs> I'll do it later. But, um, I'm going to go work out. We're going to hit this booty workout. I fell earlier. I thought I broke my ankle and then I, it was weird. It's like, I feel better. Maybe it'll feel worse tomorrow. I don't know. But, um, and my shoulders all jacked up. And, so we'll, we'll get, we got a Nike over here. A Nike. A uh, Nike. I'm, I'm gonna be gentle on my ankle and um, maybe do a little upper. We'll see. End core. They can't see you. She's always showing what's in her mouth, like that. Like she's obsessed with that. She's obsessed with that. You see my new tripod? Isn't it awesome? Look, my nose is the same color as your tongue. She was eating hot Cheetos. I got a whole lot of money. Here she comes. This no. Yeah, it's a buddy. It's a buddy. It's a buddy. <laughs> Yes. Oh my god. Okay. I'm about to. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a. Um, oh, where my mascara? I'm not gonna show the warm up because it's boring, so we're gonna just hit it. 
Can get on, get and do the warm up real quick, but we're gonna get right into the the workout. Weightlifting with the boys. Which boys? Mine. I don't see no boys weightlifting around here. What's up, guys? My name is the one. All right, so this is the plan, Stan. We got standing deadlifts. I know I'm gonna do four sets of everything, but I'm not sure how many set, um, how many reps I'm gonna be doing. Uh, so we'll fill that in as we go. Side lunges. Oh, and in between core. Side lunges in between upper squats um, with no weight, and then core, and then walking lunges, um, and then onto core. So. This is it. I might uh, freeform a little bit. If so, you guys will know. Okay. All right, y'all. Just a heads up. Uh, the kids are awake and running around, especially this little one right here. Y'all go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like these workouts that have the the nighttime the nighttime workouts with the the cool lighting and stuff. Um, I may go ahead and do them anyway, even if I get no likes. But um, to keep it real, because they're fun. But um, I think there's something to it. The light and the color, energetically speaking, on the spirit and the body, um, being very healing and exciting. So let me know what. You know, let me know what you think. Uh, leave a comment down below. Get it, get it, get it, girl. Alright, y'all. That's gonna conclude this vlog. I had a long day. I really didn't eat enough. She's poopy. Y'all, sometimes it just be like that. Okay. Well, then go on the potty sometimes. If you want poo poo in the potty and you potty train, then you wouldn't have to worry about poo poo on your butt. No, mom, no. Hey, hey, look, dog. Hey, I just recorded a big ass segment and I think I wasn't recording, so I'm just gonna have to say it real quick again. Thank you for watching. My workout was supposed to be stupid doo doo dumb longer, but um. I'm tired today because I'm exhausted. I felt today, I don't feel good. I'm emotional, actually I feel better now, but um, I'm just achy. It's weird my body's like responding, my emotional self is responding through my body. So I'm just, I'm ready to stop today. This one is poopy and we're trying to get her potty trained so she stank, so I just need to do that. And my phone rings. Hang up, okay. Okay, thank you. So anyway, um, so that's why I cut it short. I'm gonna take care of myself. Sometimes it's, it's like that. Anything is better than nothing, especially when you're starting out and you're just, your body's really getting used to it. I just was tapped out and pooped out today. So be proud of yourself with what you can do. It's very important um, for your progress in the future because if, if you feel like defeated every time and like, ugh, like I didn't do what I was supposed to do, then you ain't gonna stick with it, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, sometimes it'd be like that, especially when you're first starting out or you're back to a, a routine. Something, just do something and um, be proud of yourself. Coming up here shortly, um, a week or two, I'm hoping, I'm gonna be having my business up and running. Sacred Compass is the name of it, and it's all things spirituality. If you need it, if you need an oracle card reading, if you need some spiritual guidance, if there's some blocks or some obstacles in your life that you need some clarity on, what's really going on with them below the surface. Um, if you want some assistance in kind of discovering what your true purpose is in life, if you're tired of your job, you can't stand what you're doing, it might make good money, it might not, but you just want to get out of it. So I work with you to help you develop or, or to uncover what that might be for you. Whatever it is you want and you need, I use mainly oracle cards or tarot cards. I generally don't use the, the traditional tarot cards. Um, just because they make me feel kind of like weird and like witchy and like that's like not my style. Um, I have a very new kind of fresh approach to like those the card rings and spirituality and intuition that's very sacred to me. We work together to create a very individualized unique blueprint, very spiritual map that kind of shows you and directs you which way to go, how to go. Um, and kind of shows you the hidden treasures that um, maybe weren't easily, that you couldn't see easily before. So that's that. It's called Sacred Compass, up and coming. So um, 
Click on that uh, pull down menu within the next week or two and you should see a listing of my prices and how to contact me and all that good stuff. This is your girl, Sacred Reunions, AKA Grateful Drake. I hope you like the vlog. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, go away. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. Oh, that bell notification to remind you of all the up and coming vlogs. Also hit that subscribe button, that helps me out. Share the video. If you got someone to share it with, share that too. That helps me as well. All right, y'all, I love you so much. Thank you for joining me. You're the best. Love, love, love. Bye.